Hey guys, welcome back. I am starting to play along with my Midnight Blush Traveler's Notebook kit. It is, it has a traveler's notebook that has all of these pages in it that already have different pattern papers. So it makes it really easy to just jump in. And I'm using this photo of my youngest on New Year's Eve that she sent me. And you see the sketch that's in the upper right. I went ahead and grabbed some scrap pink cardstock and made a little fishtail banner with that and you see how I'm faking it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put uh, some of or the top part of my banner on. I will then go ahead and use this great die cut that came with kit, line it all up on this little grid and my photo will hide all of my secrets. Only you and I will know that it is not complete. All right so Pretty darn simple with this grid paper to line up your elements. And yeah, one of my favorite reasons to have grid paper in my life. I'm going to go ahead and pop my photo directly on the banner bit. And there's my T-square ruler because I cannot line up things straight on my own. It's just not a thing. So you do see the sketch I'm using in that upper right corner. Oh, and here's a little, little uh, paper clip that I made just from a bow I had kicking around. It's rather vintage, I believe. And a white paper clip. Not a big deal, but I do love making those little doohickeys that go on my, on my TNs. So I'm starting to sort through all of these pretty goodies to figure out what I am digging the most for this. And our embellishments are both in like a really pale pink as well as a really nice deep rose. So I was kind of toggling back and forth this month with which ones I wanted to use. Here is our handy dandy, well, one of our handy dandy stamps, and I am so digging my round stamping block. I don't know why, I think it's the little things that make you so happy. Um, also, here are some Catherine Puller inks that I picked up at the store recently. Hey guys, they have, um, Journals for Life has the little mini ones in right now. So if you guys dig those, go snag them. I have two orders of them, or two sets of them coming to me right now. Any hue. So I'm going to just use this really nice deep charcoal color and my little foam stampy block thing to stamp in my die cut. And this little stampy block thing is also from Journals for Life. And guys, if you want to save a little bit of jean, go use Shannon20 as a coupon code and you'll get 20% off your order, which I think is awesome. I decided I wanted another little pink fishtail banner on the other side to mimic what I had on the left. So this will be going on the right. And I'm just really popping it about midway down so I have an anchor for the clusters on this side. Now... I am loving like this softer kind of romantic kind of tone. I mean, I didn't end up doing them for anything super romantic. This is something with my daughter, but I, I think it's cute and I think it's fun. And I wish I had more of my TN spread in the screen. So sorry about that. I kept, oh, Blue's barking. I kept playing with all my goodies and moving everything around and it Shimmy just a little outside, but you can pretty much see what I'm doing right now. And I also have all these still shots at the end. But this is giving you a really nice look at the goodies that are in this kit. This is my first layout, so they're all there currently. Things will change. I'm looking, oh, there's the stamp set, guys. It is so cute. It has um, it has hearts, it has stars, moons, and and really nice wordy bits. So I took this really cool gray piece that I cut in half and wrote loving you. Well, I didn't. I stamped loving you on it and it came out super, super clean. And I'm just layering up my pieces. I I tend to like the look better if, if things are touching just a little bit. Now, this washi is a massive roll. Like the rolls are so big that we get. It's this really, really deep purpley indigo tone and it's pretty awesome. So I decided to get a couple of little pieces of that here and there just to bring it around and guys, like you'll have it forever. It's 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 very nice and it lays down nice and it has like this really nice light sheen on it. I wanted to bring it down just a little bit more of this deep purple tone over to the right side. That's why I grabbed that deep purple rose and 
brought it in. Now this collection has this pale gray and it also has like, kind of like a parchment color to it. it it's, it's pretty cool. And that's one of the things I like so much about the Journals for Life TN goodies, as well as, I mean, some people use them just for scrapbooking, which I have done, they're so gorgeous is that the collections are interesting. They're different. It's not same old, same old. Okay, so here are some of the goodies we also got. We have these acrylic hearts that are, we have them in gray and pink, and we also have these really nice dimensional uh, gold flowers that add the perfect amount of blingy bits. I, yeah, I, I think the little, um, embellishment extra goodies maybe my favorite parts of these kits I don't know but I did go ahead and I made a paper clip um goodie with some of the the acrylic hearts as well I thought they were super cool for that I have to admit that I do have um well I call them like floofy bits oh there's my close-ups for all of the goodies that Andrea, the owner has, of, or Andrea, has for uh, her books. I think they're awesome. So here are some still shots. You can see what I came up with. I love in that stamped heart that you can see beneath it too. I think it's really, really pretty. Okay, I will have links down below where you can get your hands on these goodies and I'll be back ever so soon. Oh, remember to use that discount code to save 20%. It's Shannon20. Okay, bye for now, friends.